entrepreneur is the creative force in economics. The entrepreneur is the person who comes and looks at a desert or a jungle or a wilderness and uh, sees a garden, uh, you know, sees a opportunity to create new value. What entrepreneurs really do is put what they earn at risk, where they could lose it all, and do it over and over and over again. I learned risk without knowing that it's a risk. Taking risk is actually dashing into hope. You're just dashing into the future and hoping that it's going to be better. You could really think of the first farmers as the first entrepreneurs. Farms would make cities possible, and that those cities would make civilizations possible. And it was those civilizations that made things like worldwide commerce, and science, and music, and philosophy possible. Our county extension agent, first year was in business. He come here, and he looked me right square in the eye, and he says, you're broke. Get out. And I looked right back at him, and I says, what have we got to do to get this right? You put your butt in the corner, you'd be surprised what you can achieve. Without the entrepreneur, economies are barren. They're dead. A zero-sum game is like poker. We all sit down at a table, and I only win if someone else loses. That's not the way a market works. That's not the way the wealth of New York City has been built. All the stuff behind me was created by energy applied to physical matter that transformed it. That's the genius of entrepreneurship. It's the discovery process. It's the courage that's involved in it. The investment, the intelligence, the openness, the other directedness. Sometimes they're the most common resources that we walk over, that we ignore, that we even are perhaps repulsed by, that become the source of wealth, the source of jobs, the source of prosperity. I mean, this is, this is an incredible institution.